okay class 9 uh, today we will be doing theorem 8.1 from quadrilateral chapter so in theorem 8.1 the theorem statement of the theorem is a diagonal of a parallelogram divide the parallelogram into two congruent triangle so diagonal of parallelogram divide it into two congruent triangle first we have to draw a parallelogram A, B, C, D. It is a parallelogram. A, B, C, D. Now, first we we'll write in the given statement given ABCD is a parallelogram ABCD is a parallelogram in which AC is the diagonal AC is the diagonal of parallelogram now we need to prove to prove to prove <coughs> diagonals of a parallelogram divided into two congruent triangle means triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ACD now proof now next step is the proof it is the procedure or algorithm of to prove In proof, we have to consider the triangle ABC and triangle ACD. In triangle ABC and triangle ACD. So to prove, we have to write diagonal divides parallelogram into two congruent triangle two congruent triangle so first we have to prove the congruency and the conclusion will be diagonal divides in the parallelogram into two congruent triangle <coughs> in triangle ABC and triangle ACD first we need to find the region here BC is parallel to AD. BC is parallel to AD. Since BC is parallel to AD, as AC is transversal, BC is parallel to AD means. AC is the transversal line. Now, if these two lines are parallel, then this angle is equals to this angle. It is alternate angle. So, angle ACB equals to angle BAC. It is alternate interior angle alternate interior 
angle and next thing is for both the triangles AC is the common side AC equals to AC it is common for both the triangle and next reason is since AB is parallel to CD AB is parallel to CD as AC is transversal so we can write angle BAC equals to angle ACD ACD so here the reason is alternate interior angle so we get three regions now three regions are sufficient for the proof of congruency therefore we can write triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ACD by which criteria this is angle this is side and this is angle so angle side angle congruency rule hence we can conclude that the diagonal of parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangle congruent triangle okay this is the proof of theorem 8.1 now move to theorem 8.2 okay theorem 8.2 is in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal so we need to prove the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal so for this case we have to consider the parallelogram this is a b c d now we have to draw the diagonal ac so in given we will write a b c d is a parallelogram in which a c is a diagonal a c is a diagonal of parallelogram now to prove a b equals to c d and a d equals to b c first we have to prove the congruency now proof in proof first let us take consider triangle a b c and a c d triangle a c d here a d b c is parallel to a d as a c is transversal if b c is parallel to a d then a c is transversal now we can say that so this is parallel to this means this angle equals to this angle 
so angle ACB equals to angle BAC it is alternate interior angle then AC equals to AC it is common for both the triangle and next is since AB is parallel to CD as AC is transversal so we can write angle CAB equals to angle ACD ACD it is alternate interior angle so therefore triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ACD region is by angle side angle congruency so hence if the triangles are congruent then the corresponding sides are equal AB equals to CD and AD equals to BC the region is by CP CT it means corresponding parts of congruent triangle okay this much for today thank you